All right, I'm on this argument rant, and you know I gotta record it. And basically, it's the whole concept of my reality, your reality. I made a video and I mentioned this, and I'm gonna be honest. It's a stupid saying. It's a stupid thing. Now I'm gonna go deeper into it, for sure. But I just want to clarify. Hair check that yes your thoughts create your reality we understand that we get it okay my my thoughts on a situation can skew how i perceive that situation right if someone comes up to me and they're instead of being all joyful and happy like they were ever like they were every day in work if juliet comes into work every day all happy and is like hey Right? Then you're going to be like, oh, she's happy and chipper. Right? Something comes across and one day she comes in and she's like, hey. Right? And walks away. Then you're going to be like, oh my god. Is it me? Did I say something? I did something. Maybe she's just a bitch. Yep, that's her problem. She's got a problem. Right? That's your thoughts creating your reality. Where possibly... She just might have had a bad day. She might have had a breakup. Maybe her mom called her and bust her chops. You don't know, all right? So the problem with the whole concept of people being like, well, my reality is not your reality. Your reality might be this, but my reality, that's what it sounds like, right? It's a circle of just god-awful garbage, all right? And this is the best way I can describe it. So it makes sense. Our thoughts do create our reality. They affect how we perceive, how we interact, and how we see situations. Check. But there is such a thing as global reality. A uniform, altogether reality in which we all interact within so it's like a two-phase kind of thing now i got some examples for you so hold tight all right the global unified we'll just stick with unified that sounds cooler unified reality in which we all interact with the same thing you and i are in right now all right if you walk up to someone and you're out in say walmart and you slap them all right? Are you going to go up to that person and say, well, in your reality, I slapped you. In my reality, I don't think I did that. It's a little psychotic, right? Well, that's where people are going with this whole my reality, your reality thing. So another example. Let's just say a current event. The current event of this video is being recorded you know uh, Russia invading Ukraine right would pe how would people react if Putin was like I didn't invade Ukraine no I just walked into my own backyard I just walked sent some troops over into a place that is mine it is ours it's always been ours you guys are saying invade uh, I don't, your reality, you guys think I invaded that country. In my reality, I just strolled into my own backyard. Okay? You, you see how that can uh, be a little narcissistic in a way, where it's only self-centered, where you're only focused on you and your perception of reality and your thoughts? We got to come back to a baseline where we all understand a unified reality. I'm a human being. You're a human being. That is a dog. That is a bird. That is the sky. This is an automobile. Because lately, a lot of people are going down this weird rabbit hole where if you go to certain places and you walk up to people and say, I'm a giraffe. Jeffrey, <laughs> name's Jeffrey, 
the giraffe. Literally, I'm gonna go to the zoo and just uh, be a part of the giraffe scene. Now, you'd probably think that person's crazy, right? Like, you'd be a little, maybe he's very imaginative. There's nothing wrong with that. But if he is dead set on, like, I'm a giraffe, and you're like, no, your name's Rick, and you work at Office Depot, we kind of need you in for your shift, you remember? He's like, I'm not Jeff, Rick, anymore. Jeff, or whatever name I used. Uh, I'm a giraffe. I'm gonna go graze. It, it, it just creates problems. Because then people would be like, well, in my reality, your name is Rick. And they'll be like, well, in my reality, I'm a giraffe. And it's gone into gender, it's gone into identity, it's gone into so many different things. And it's not... It's just crazy. It's getting to a point where it's just too much. So please, understand, your thoughts do create your re perception of reality. Your thoughts create your reality. You can shift through timelines. We could go on uh, so many different topics, but I'm keeping this simple. All right? Your thoughts can change your situation and how you perceive it. Your thoughts can project you into a number of different paths or realities timelines but at the end of the day the present moment that you are in you're unified with other people that are similarly experiencing that same unifying reality so you gotta be mindful and just have that baseline we gotta all have that baseline that we're like this is our shared reality. Ta da! And get away from this madness that. God, if you look up videos and documents of just the way people talk anymore, it's crazy. Oh, well, if that's your reality, not my reality, and my reality, you're the, the, the circle. It just wastes time and disrupts the world we live in. So, that's the rant. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Got any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comments. Keep all the nastiness to yourself. I really don't care, but yeah, other than that, have a good one. Don't stop